Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to build an awesome ibex habitat. Uh, we do a lot of natural rocks, a lot of natural trees, and it looks really, really great um, in our northern trail sort of area of the Tacoma Zoo. So stay tuned. In just a second, we're going to jump into the time lapse portion of the video. And you can see the speed build of how I did everything. Let's do that right now. All right, to kick this one off, we're going to be extending our northern trail area of the zoo, and this time doing an animal from the European pack, the Alpine Ibex. Now, before we get into all that, if you haven't subscribed down below, please consider doing so. It really helps out the channel, and the majority of you are not subscribed, and if you would just take a second to consider doing so, it really does make a difference. I do appreciate it. Now, this is episode 7 of the Tacoma Zoo series. If you haven't seen any of the episodes before, this or missed one in between you can check it out in the playlist down below there's a lot of cool builds that we've done so far in the zoo and you'll see a little bit of those in this episode but the focus of this build is the alpine ibex habitat now for this habitat i sort of uh, just wanted to do a different animal um, one from the european pack since it is new and i haven't built a habitat for any of these animals yet before i know the the european pack's been out for a little while now we're looking at potentially a new dlc here soon but for me it's still fairly new. Uh, I wanted to do sort of a rocky terrain heavy environment but not too big. I wanted it to be a nice size, um, good enough for the ibex themselves but not like a super big ticket uh, habitat for the zoo and for the northern trail area of the zoo and I kind of had this little idea of doing these little uh, covered sort of viewing areas for the guests so you're going to see me start building these right now and I want to do a little bit of terrain variance here as well so you're kind of looking down into the alpine ibex habitat and uh, it looks super cool but the alpine ibex really cool animal uh, they got nice little horns it's sort of like the mountain goat uh, animal of you know planet zoo there is the uh, forget what it's called the doll sheep I believe um, but it's it's a lot smaller and uh, not as exciting the textures on the alpine ibex are pretty great and everything i mean it was just released so of course it's going to be pretty good but definitely the go-to mountain goat i was debating doing either the doll sheep or this uh alpine ibex and i went with the ibex because it just looks a little better it fits a little uh better into the northern trail area and the doll sheep is more of an arctic animal anyway um doesn't necessarily fit into what we're doing here but we may go and have an arctic area of the zoo i'm not sure yet um but i'm really more thinking along the lines of you know we'll have the northern trail area and then if we wanted to do polar bears or something of that nature we'd put it in the aquatic area i think i'll have like a aquatic portion of the zoo you know an africa portion of the zoo and maybe an asian area as well but before I go on off on too much of a tangent, I did go with the Alpine Ibex here. Uh, we're going to definitely be building more of the European pack animals. I think next episode could potentially be the fallow deer. So, you know, if you're interested in that, subscribe and stay tuned for that. Or it could potentially be the lynx. I think the lynx is really cool. and I kind of want to build a habitat for them. I also want to do some bears. Uh, in the near future as well so more of the northern trail area i really want to finish this area out so we can release our phase one tour of the zoo and sort of polish up these areas as well um, just to sort of finish off this side of the zoo move on to other areas after this but i'm having a blast building these northern trail exhibits because i really do uh, enjoy the aesthetics of sort of the the taiga biome and these like dense wooded and rocky areas it's something i really like making and I think it fits really well in terms of realism for Tacoma Zoo being based in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, it's just a natural habitat for the area. So when we start building some of these other habitats for other areas of the zoo, we might have to think more about the realism, building little uh, huts like we're doing right here, like animal containment areas for them to go when it's super cold out, when the weather is not really what their biome is used to. Um, for these ibex, I sort of built this little concrete structure here as you're seeing on the screen as sort of a nod to realism but they don't necessarily need it because they can handle a lot of uh you know cold temperatures and things like that that the pacific northwest does have so not so much of a threat for these sort of northern trail animals but when we build other sort of animals like the prairie dogs in our previous episode we need to build sort of facilities for them to sort of keep with the realism and something I want to go even further and do a lot of that in this zoo project that I've not necessarily done in a lot of my other zoo projects. 
but really from here it's just gonna be building this sort of nice terrain rocky area and I just sort of went and did whatever came to my head here for this and from there it's just placing a lot of these rocks I'm placing a lot of these faux rocks as you can see in the background um, I changed the color of them to sort of match sort of a, a tundra or well, not really a tundra a tiger rock in its way because I think the faux rocks just look really great bring a little bit of realism because they are fake rocks instead of sort of the the base rocks in the game which do look good as well but they just look a little too real not enough zooey not en enough realism for me so um, that's that's what I did there but really finishing off this habitat it's gonna be uh, a lot of these enrichment items and then just putting you know pine trees here and there to sort of fit the habitat but it's not gonna be super vegetated it's gonna be a lot of rock work so I do a lot of that rock work off camera so you guys don't have to watch it but it is there and that's pretty much how I obtain the look that we get when we do the real-time walkthrough of the video. We're going to jump into that in just a second here, so stay tuned for that. If you want to skip ahead, there is a uh, sort of chapter down in the description below and sort of along the scroll bar. So I'll see you guys there in a moment. All right, everybody, welcome back to the real-time first-person walkthrough of the episode. We're gonna start over here at the Northern Lodge Grill build that we did in a past episode. If you haven't seen it, uh, it is in the mini build playlist in the description down below. But let's go check out the Alpine Ibex, the big uh, animal for this episode. And it's gonna basically just start right over here. I wanted to make it sort of hidden away with these little viewing platforms, and the guests are all over it right now, but here is one of the viewing platforms not a big interior in here uh for most of my projects i like to uh leave the interiors out a bit to save on frames but here is the look into the habitat with those guys hanging out down in there and i think it looks great i really love the feel here very mountainous um close together lots of rocks a bit of trees here and there but i think the terrain is great i think i nailed it and i'm happy with how it turned out and I think it just looks beautiful. But let's walk on to the next one. We have this sort of passing area with, you get a little view right there, but there's rocks and nothing really going on here. But then you go into the second one over here and you get another view of the uh, habitat from a different angle. Um, you can see even more over here. And I just, I, I really like how it turned out. I think it looks good. Um, the style here matches realism to a point. Uh, for a zoo for sort of ibex or rams or any sort of like sheep exhibit um, But still, you know looks good at the same time. So we, we used a lot of different rock pieces here I, I use the faux rock the faux rocks pretty much throughout uh, And that is a big enrichment item right there. We'll see if we'll get to see him use it But I should have a uh, shot of them using it in the cinematic shots um, after this or at the start of the video but this is pretty much the exhibit. I did not go further this way because um, I'm not sure how I want to incorporate uh, this sort of pathway. So let's jump out into the overhead camera now. All right, we are now in the overhead camera. We can take a look at the exhibit. It doesn't take up a ton of space. It's sort of kitty corner right here to the Northern Lodge Grill. And we have just sort of a few uh, small little area for the ibex because they really don't need a lot of space. Um, one of the new animals in the Europe pack, I think they look pretty good. Um, sort of like the doll sheep, but the doll sheep's <laughs> the doll sheep's textures, you know, they're all right. They're a lot smaller. The horns don't grow as big, and I think this is sort of the mountain goat that we got in the game now. So I'm happy to build a exhibit for it. I think it fits in the Northern Trail sort of area and I'm uh, happy with the result. I love these just ponderosa pines. Just here and there in this uh, habitat, it really sort of, you know, breaks it up along with these separate mountains that they can climb with all these faux rocks and things like that. Uh, so I'm happy with it and I hope you guys do enjoy it as well. Um, as for the future, not sure which way we're going to go. I, I left this sort of open. We're going to continue the northern trail this way. I don't know if I'm going to continue it this direction. We're going to try to keep it contained in this area since it's all of this. And I think I want to put another um, entrance to the zoo. So a secondary entrance to the zoo over here, sort of like the northern trail entrance. And uh, we'll, we'll keep trucking on with this, but we might 
stop, do a different animal like uh, the prairie dogs we did in the last episode here and there. But I think the Northern Trail will sort of be the first phase of the zoo that I'll release. And I'll do sort of a first person walkthrough with that and uh, polish it up when we get to that point. But we're not quite there yet. Uh, a nice little build here. Something a little different than usual with these uh, viewing sort of gondolas here. Or viewing buildings if you want to call them that. And uh, just a quaint, nice relaxing little mountain setting for these ibex uh really happy with the result i hope you guys also like it uh let me know down below if you do that's all i have for this video folks thank you so much if you've made it to this point in the episode i really do appreciate it again if you haven't subscribed down below please consider doing so leave a comment if you did have something to say about the build or the future of the zoo and leave a like if you thought the video was pretty cool um i'm mcsnazzy Thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you guys did like the Ibex build. I think it's pretty awesome myself, and I'm really happy with the result. We'll have more Planet Zoo content coming in the future uh, with even cooler builds, even more realism, and uh, I can't wait to show you guys what's next. So until next time, I'll see you in the next episode.